question here, number five, uh, comes in from uh, Anonymous by the looks of it. Uh, question says, I'm thinking about starting my own podcast or webinar like um, Christopher Walken is always banging on at me to do. Uh, how do I get over the nerves of getting started, especially dealing with online trolls and negative comments? Okay, great question. Well, uh, the advice I'd give you on this one um, really comes from personal experience, and that is, truthfully, you've just got to start. The the way that we we approached anything to do, you know, or should I say, I have approached anything to do with life is that when you start out, you have to understand that you're not going to be any really any good at this sort of thing. Um, so. I'm trying to give you an example. It's a bit like going to the gym, right? Um, and a, a lot of people use gym, a gym as, a, as an example. But you know, when you first go to the gym and you see people lifting weights and all the rest of it, you think it's fairly easy, right? So, for example, on the squat rack, you see people getting on a squat rack, they put the bar on, and they you know, hump this weight up and down, up and down, up and down. And what you don't realize is that if you go and follow that, you might not get the form right, and therefore you might be carrying the weight in the wrong part of your body. And then you ultimately might end up doing more damage than good, right? So with this sort of thing, it, it kind of helps to observe what other people are doing that uh, you like uh, and kind of replicate that or um, you know, follow suit in what they're doing that you think, actually, I like this bit. We'll use that in our business or we'll use that to, uh, in, as far as our social media is concerned. And then just get started, okay? And then you can always iterate and do things better in the future. Uh, there's um oh, goodness me i'm trying to think of his name now he does the diary of a ca ceo um but his podcast has recently just taken off like in terms of the amount of views i think they were doing like 10 10 million views a month and when they first started out they were getting hardly anything and that was like six years ago when they first started and the biggest thing i can tell you is it's all about consistency okay so if you're consistent with sitting down, churning out the content, and providing value, then I think personally, you'll be fine. I think the uh, the issue is for a lot of people that have this great idea, yeah, I'm going to start a podcast, or I'm going to do a webinar, or I'm going to do whatever, weekly market updates or monthly market updates, and people start and they do one or two, but because it's not a firm commitment, they don't continue it. And I think I, I was reading some statistics recently, and I, and I wish I could find them for you, because it was suggesting how many millions and millions of podcasts there are out there. And there was only a very small number that make it past 26 episodes. Okay, the vast majority only ever have one episode. So people have this idea, I'll oh, start a podcast because somebody mentioned it. Uh, they start the podcast, they do an episode, they feel uncomfortable, it doesn't quite go the way they wanted to. Um, maybe some things were said, as happened in our first episode when we did this, and we said some things that were taken the wrong way. And, you know, people come down on you like a ton of bricks, you know, it's this this online troll bit that, that you mentioned, uh, or negative comments, and they go, oh, you shouldn't do this. And you go, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe I made a mistake, or maybe, uh, you know, I, I didn't say, didn't communicate clearly, or whatever. But you just have to accept, unfortunately, that's part of the uh, process and you know my view would be sit down with a piece of paper mind map out some stuff okay especially things that your audience is struggling with right what is your audience struggling with what are their main concerns what do they need help with and then start putting some content out there that deals with those things okay so uh, I don't know maybe you're a mortgage advisor for example and you find that first-time buyers don't really understand the mortgage application process and you think well actually why don't i produce a two minute video or a five minute video all about the mortgage application process this is what's involved and put it out there and and don't expect that you're going to get hundreds of views or thousands of interactions and lots of comments the chances are it'll probably be you know into the ether and you get nothing and you sit there going oh well, that didn't work i didn't get any response i didn't get any feedback and as a consequence you get disheartened and you let it slide right and and my view would be don't let that happen um keep going okay keep going uh take it on the chin if something negative happens i mean the, the thing about these online trolls okay there are quite a few of them and i'll pro they'll probably get a few for saying this now but i, I the, the way i view it is a lot of these online trolls are uh, literally children in adult bodies they've not quite graduated from the name calling that they used to do in the playground 
and somehow think that it's acceptable to do that in adult life. And, you know, each to their own do, do that, but you, you won't find anybody of significant value. You're not going to find Je- Jeff Bezos online throwing abuse at people for trying something new, right? It's just not going to happen. The only way that these people have got there is actually by doing things that other people aren't prepared to do. And and so, you know, what uh, Christopher Watkin has suggested is, you know, if you're going out there into the marketplace and, and put this content out there, this video content or whatever else it might be, just start, okay? And the biggest thing I will say, if you can set a target of maybe doing five or six episodes you'll find that things start to become a lot easier because you've got over the initial uh, hurdles and the initial nerves. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we're doing right now that, um, quite frankly, you know, we're having to face up to the fact that we, we might get a bit of backlash. And that's okay because we know where we're going. We know who we're, who we're trying to serve and look after in the process. And those people that aren't on board with that, um, that's fine. They can go and do something else. They don't have to be involved with what we're doing. But our heart's in the right place. We know we're coming from the right place. We know what we're trying to achieve. And ultimately, we just have to go for it. And I think one of the biggest uh, phrases I can give you is try and find me a statue that's erected to a cynic, okay, or a critic. It just doesn't happen. And the only people that have uh, achieved, you know, have upset others along the way. It's a fact of life. They have done things that other people didn't agree with. And it's very easy for people to sit in a pub over a pint of beer and moan about, you know, stuff that's wrong in the world and there's a lot wrong in the world but there's also a lot of right as well so i would just go with it and if you can get that consistency and like i can't believe how quickly things have gone that we're on week nine already of our of our, our webinars and podcasts like the, the time has absolutely flown by and I, you know sometimes i get really nervous and like today i was really excited and it might have something to do with how much caffeine i've had today but i was really excited about coming into today's uh episode because you know, we've got so much going on. And it's like, this feels like an an extra added value contribution that we can give to the marketplace. And it's just like, well, why not? You know, let's share some knowledge, let's answer some questions. And if people like that, great. And if people don't like it, also great. But we know where we're going. And we know what we're, as I say, our hearts are in the right place, what we're trying to add as value. And and I'm sure if you take that approach with what you're trying to do here, then I'm sure you'll be successful and and you'll find that it comes back. But uh, the other tip I can give you uh, if you're thinking about doing this, is um, you'll find, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll find that you can actually repurpose a lot of content. And this is one of the things that I didn't realize how valuable it is, that when you start something like what we're doing here, uh, I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. We are, you know, full on experimental phase and, and, I'm, and I'm loving it. Why not throw ourselves in the deep end and figure it out as we go? But the way that we've we've chosen to do this is to, is to do a webinar that's anywhere between sort of 30 minutes and 60 minutes long um, and answer a bunch of questions. And then what we do is we take each one of those questions, we break it up into little bite-sized chunks, okay? Purely because not everybody's going to sit through, uh, you know, a 60-minute webinar, for example, but they will listen to a six-minute video about, I don't know, making their own podcast or webinar or whatever it might be, or dealing with solicitors or anything like that. So the the ability to uh, break that content up and share it. And also, um, there are other things that can come off the back of this, such as you might get your audio transcribed, and you might then offer that as a guide, uh, or as a uh, PDF download or something of that nature to create part of your nurturing journey for clients as well. And it all stems from just sitting down and doing this one exercise, and then continuing to do that over and over again. All right, so hope that's been useful. Uh, Definitely go for it. Consistency is key. If you want us to be involved in some way, happy to do so. If you want to put your podcast or your webinar onto the WiggyWan platform, again, let us know. Uh, we've got actually quite a few contributors who are doing that right now. And it's really interesting. Um, and this is not just, you know, Silas of uh, WiggyWan telling you this, go and have a look on the site yourself, okay? But what's interesting is we've had one or two contributors that have started putting their stuff on there. And on their own sites, they're not actually getting much um, traction or interaction. Um, but actually by sharing it on our site, they're getting a ton of engagement. Okay. And I think that's phenomenal. It's it's testament to our success. We get to see, obviously, as as owners of the business, all of the back end stats that sit within uh, WiggyWam. And I can tell you the uh, page views and the number of visitors that we're getting to the site are rapidly 
escalating and that's really encouraging for us obviously it means that we're doing something right um and you know we can see again granularity if you like on that data that this is not robots that are coming in from russia that are you know on our site it's actually genuine people uh within the uk we get a couple of people from overseas and that's that's cool as well but uh the majority of our audience obviously is in the uk which is what we're targeting so uh i'll just throw it out there if that's something you want to do feel free to get involved and uh, you know we'd love to have you uh, as part of our site as well so wish you the best of luck with that all right you guys well uh i have got some more questions believe it or not but i'm actually going to bounce those into next week because uh it's coming up i didn't realize we've been on this for nearly an hour now so uh thanks for all your your time care and attention with us um as i say i'll deal with those questions next week for anybody that submitted those questions and you want to know what the answers are i'll i'll feed those to you next week um I'm really excited about where things are at with uh, Wigiwam and, and everything else that we've got going on in the background. Uh, hopefully, there's going to be some uh, pretty cool things unfolding. Well, not hopefully, I know there are. Um, and I'm really looking forward to how that's going to help and support people in their, in their moving journey. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, it's going to be very exciting in the race towards Christmas as well, I can tell you that. So uh, I'm really um, thrilled to be able to share more with you when I can. And uh, yeah, the, as, as November cr- progresses, I'm sure there's going to be more and more announcements coming out. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, as always, if there's any questions that we can help you with, any concerns, any comments, any feedback that you want to give us, please feed it through to us. Happy to help at wiggywam.co.uk. That's happy to help at wiggywam.co.uk. Um, you can also reach out to us on our website, which is wiggywam.co.uk, or also on Twitter, which is at wiggywam underscore uk that's at wiggywam underscore uk and uh, be happy to take any of your questions ready for uh, next week's webinar which is going to be again very exciting and i'm looking forward to uh, working with you all, you guys all again then so that's it from me thank you once again for tuning in and uh, i look forward to uh, seeing you all on a future episode very soon all right you guys you take care be good Bye bye